Yo, hey there everybody. Uh, so I had a buddy of mine asking about bolt torque specs on bicycles or uh, basically how tight a uh, guy would want to get certain bolts and things like that. So uh, I'm here in the shop and got a few uh, little bits and pieces here, some examples. Let me just switch this camera around. So we've got a little variety of random bolts and things here. So uh, just one thing, uh, just bolts in general, uh, as far as pertaining to bicycles specifically, you know, a lot of them you'll see, you know, this is a, uh, I guess they would classify this as a five millimeter, like an M5 bolt. Uh, so you see this for maybe the size that would fasten some handlebar stems, uh, seat post clamps, uh, kickstand mounts, things like that. Uh, just bolts in general, especially anything that's stainless like this or chrome plated, you know, going into aluminum. You always want to put a little bit of grease on the threads. Uh, you know, if you have a washer or something, maybe put a little grease on that flange, uh, and that's going to help get these things up to torque. You know, I know sometimes with these, even though it's got the Loctite stuff on there, the thread locking compound, those are going to, sometimes that can bind up if there's not, you know, like a little bit of grease. Uh, you know, it kind of depends on the material, if it's going into like a... Uh, water puddle cage bolt like a rib nut and it's dry and that can bind itself up in there and spin inside the frame and cause all kinds of issues but anyway basic point of the video is just kind of uh, different torque specs you know, a couple of tools that I'll use for this one's a little four millimeter hex key this one's preset at uh, five newton meters Get over here to a random bike, and so it'll click off. This one's already been torqued. So you know, you got your like your face plate. It's pretty crucial there. Um, yeah, it's another little torque wrench, kind of a handheld deal, and you can adjust this one from uh, like four newton meters up to six newton meters, just depending on where you turn this little dial here. Uh, so you can, you know, so now we're at 4.5. Um, but you, this thing's got a little, holder there for some different bits. There's a T25 torque, so mm, three, four, and a five newton meter uh, hex key bolt. Uh, next thing, I've got this guy. He's quite a bit. Just a long handle. 3 h drive and then you know this one you basically just uh set that back to zero but you'll just adjust this it's in it's going to be in uh newton meters if you can see that but you just you know adjust this up to get your correct torque there you got these guys that are kind of your top of the line digital um, so I've got this BMX bike here and looked on the just out of curiosity looked on the profile website and they're just a standard stem bolt there uh, six millimeter bolt there they'll call for 8.5 newton meters this guy Fired up here. Yeah, 
one thing with tightening these bolts, you kind of want to go in a sequence of like one, two, three, four. And so just, you know, basically bring them up each one, you know, by keeping the, the plate here, the top cap pretty level, uh, you know, keep the gaps even. But, you know, just go in that sequence as you're gradually bringing the torque up to where you want there. Do this with one hand. So this guy will tell me where my torque is. So this thing was light. Back to the first one there. Took her to the limit. That's it. And this guy, lots of bikes will have you know, the torque spec. You know, like this one on the handlebar stem. Uh, so we got uh, SRAM dub crank. The spindle bolts on these are usually pretty high, 54 newton meters. But anyway, up. This is just a little screen recording of, uh, I'll put a link to this in the description. This is just a park tool, uh, kind of a little document that goes over torque specs and different wrenches and a little chart with different miscellaneous bolts and brands and whatnot. So it's pretty interesting, um, some good material to read. But, uh, you know, one thing kind of going back to putting some grease on the bolts, uh, sometimes if you are torquing a bolt that's totally dry, it may give you an inaccurate reading where... You may get a torque reading that's high, but the bolt itself isn't really actually tight. So, you know, putting some grease or oil or some kind of lubricant that allows the bolt to get up to full torque is, is always a good idea and makes them easy to remove later as well. Yeah, but just, you know, when in doubt, check with your manufacturers, you know, like this full suspension mountain bike. We've got all kinds of different bolts, torque specs, and whatnot, so, uh, yeah, just when in doubt, check with your manufacturer of the given part there, so, yeah, hopefully the video was helpful, uh, and see you guys next time.